Neverland, but a Broadway story tells the tale before the tale. There you go. Finding Neverland follows a relationship between playwright Jan Barry and the family that inspired Peter Pan. Joining us now are actors Billy Harrigan Ty, who plays JM, and Christine Reese, who plays his wife, Mary Barry, his wife, both in the show and in real life. And pretty much we have to start there, right? <laughs> right. I mean. We have to. How did you guys meet in a show? We actually met at UC. We went to CCM. Oh, yay! Yep. Stop it right now! Mm -hmm. So, hometown. Oh, that's yeah. great. <laughs> Are you both from Cincinnati, or did you come from other places? We came from other places, but, you know, Cincinnati's definitely such a part of our yeah. relationship, so we're really happy to be here. Oh, That's fun. <laughs> yeah, oh. Seriously, I just want to all. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm inside now. I know, isn't that great? great. Do you... Do you take it on stage with her? You have to leave all of that sort of behind yeah. as you guys get into the character. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think there's there are aspects of our relationship that certainly apply to um, us working together in terms of trust and and character relationships that we're able to sort of dig into. But unfortunately, our characters don't really get along very well. <laughs> yeah, they, don't, they don't have a great marriage. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Or they, when we see them in the show. Okay. Now, if you're able to disagree and fight on stage, then does that keep you from fighting and disagreeing off stage? <laughs> sure. Yeah, 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 there you go. There you go. <laughs> Just get it all, all out. You know, you, we, we say it's the tale before the tale. Right. What's it like kind of digging into those moments where you see sort of some of the Peter Pan things happening on stage? You've got to see the reaction from the audience, I'd imagine. It's pretty awesome during those moments. Yeah. Yeah, it's really amazing because I, you know the story follows J.M. Barry's yeah. path to finding the story within himself, and so you'll just be having these these regular scenes where just dialogue is happening and something will happen that happens in the scene and it's the impetus for this imaginative moment that then becomes something in Peter Pan and the yeah. stage transforms and you see the moment happen in front of his eyes and it's really beautiful That's to cool. just sort of see the stage suddenly transform the mm. way like an idea pops into someone's head. Yeah. What, what are some of the things that people learn by seeing this version of the Peter Pan story and really the background on it? Well I think the most important thing is, is where the character of Peter Pan came from. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there are various things that went into Peter Pan and what he represents um, but I, I think visually and also um, uh, there's a, a boy in the show whose name is Peter and he comes out in a green suit at one point and it's <laughs> you can see how that becomes Peter Pan later yeah. just that visual image and I remember when I saw the, saw the show the first time that really was so magical to me just something simple like yeah. that before being involved in this production what was your favorite sort of telling of Peter Pan because it's been told so many different yeah. ways and so many sure. different you know movies and TV and books and every other thing what was your favorite version do you have a favorite version absolutely my mine was hook I was like the perfect <laughs> age to want to be one of those lost boys yeah, yeah. with Robin Rufio. Williams with Rob yeah exactly yeah. and I mean I remember many a summer at the pool playing swords and fighting over who got to be Rufio. And, yeah. and now you get paid to do that. Yeah, wow, that's, that's, that's like bad. a dream come true. I saw one of your tweets where you were in front of Music Hall. Yeah. You both performed with the Pops and Eric Kunzel, one yes. of my favorite people. Yes. I know, we, it's, it was really great we to were, be back and see it. We were both blessed to work with him um, quite, a, quite a lot. And you know he was a mentor to both of us. So the fact that we're both here and we're actually staying in Over the Rhine right by the Music Hall and to, s uh, to see Eric Kunzel way was, yeah. was really, um, pretty staggering for I think both of us and put a smile on our faces. It's a, such a moving tribute to an awesome man. Yeah. It's really neat. Now how long have you guys been away from town? How long has it been since you've been in Cincinnati? This is our first time that we have been back on a tour and this is okay. both of our sixth tour. Okay. So I mean we've we visited I think yeah, I think Sometime the last, the last summer ten years. actually here was in like 2012 for like an hour or so. Yeah. I happened to be nearby and we were like, let's drive up to Cincinnati just to see it. Yeah. Um, so well, you've seen I know some changes in town. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I, I, I was <laughs> emotional driving around and seeing all the changes. It it's looks amazing. Wonderful. It does. Yeah. It's well, fantastic. I know Cincinnati's going to give you a great big Queen City welcome the whole time you're here.